Hello and welcome to Prayers in the Nottingham and Derby District. My name is Chris Briggs. I'm the District Mission Enabler. It's great to have you with us, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching on catch up at another point during the week. You're very welcome. Let's pray. Loving Lord God, we thank you for your presence with us as we gather together. We pray that through our words, through our listening, through your word, you would speak with us and draw us close to yourself. And this we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like to share with you a Bible reading and it's from Luke chapter 15, reading verses 8 to 10. And this is one of the parables, one of the stories that Jesus told called the parable of the lost coin. So Jesus said, suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says, rejoice with me. I found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. May God bless the reading of his word to our understanding. Last week saw the end of the Methodist conference for this year. Often uh, the newly elected president and vice president of the conference choose a theme for the year. Well, the president, the Reverend Jill Newton, and the vice president, Deacon Kerry Scarlett, chose the theme of hidden treasure for the forthcoming presidential year, and the conference reflected that theme. The Bible reading I've chosen is not so much about treasure, but it is about something valuable that is lost, which needs to be searched for and found as the woman looks for the coin that she's lost. There is treasure to be found if we search hard. Sometimes it's hidden, sometimes it's lost. Perhaps we can search for the treasure, the treasure that is sometimes in people that may be lost or covered up, the treasure which may be in our own lives, the treasure which may be in situations that confront us, or the treasure lost in the struggles of life and faith. I love the Bible account of Jacob wrestling with an angel representing God. He wrestles all night. He's determined not to let go until he gets the blessing. I wonder what is going on at the moment. I wonder whether we can hang on until we get the blessing to search for the lost or the hidden treasure that there may be. And remember also in the light of the reading from Luke 15 that I shared a few moments ago, that the really valuable thing is us when we discover God and his kingdom and when we come to God, because God is the one who continually searches for us knowing how valuable we are as well. Let's pray. Lord our God, we pray for that which is lost, perhaps in the people we know, perhaps within us. We pray that we might find the treasure around us, in others, in ourselves, in circumstances and in you. And we remember, dear Lord, how you look and look at us and long for us because we are so precious to you. And we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to listen to a, a song now in the same way that the woman was spoken of as rejoicing when she finds the coin. So we're going to listen to a song called Rejoice, Rejoice, Christ is in you. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is in you, the hope of glory in our hearts. He lives, he lives, his breath is in you, arise, a mighty army, we arise. Now is the time for us to march upon the land into our hands. Shall see that Christ is love. 
Christ, rejoice, Christ is the new the hope of glory in our hearts. He lives, he lives, his breath is a new horizon, a mighty army. We arise. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is in you. Our prayers will next be on this coming Thursday at seven o'clock. I do invite you to join me then. The blessing. May the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon us and remain with us this day and forevermore. Amen.